Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week, staying safe and booking those high paying loads. As always, towards the middle of each month, we do a market update. And today we're going to be looking at how the market, the freight market changed over the past month. And I'm going to tell you that it's mostly positive news, nothing too exciting, but at least we're moving in the right direction. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I teach about the trucking industry with a heavy focus on the spot market as well as freight market analysis. So if this is a topic that interests you, feel free to subscribe down below. Anyway, guys, let's get into some numbers. Ready? Let's go. Okay, we always start these monthly market update videos with diesel prices. And I always show you what happened in the previous months from the start of the year and what is happening today. Now, these prices I get from AAA. So what can we see? Well, we can see that as of June, uh, we are at $3.89. So it was a drop from May, which is good. And of course, a significant drop from the beginning of the year. Diesel is still on its way down, which is always a welcome sign because again, as owner operators, carriers, drivers one of our biggest concerns is the diesel prices and this is because fuel happens to be one of the biggest expenses of a trucking company or trucking business so the lower we pay for diesel the better the net income provided that the rates stay on the same level or hopefully as we all hope they go higher now let's take a look at what the average price per gallon is according to sonar so according to sonar it's actually a little bit higher it always is. Sonar always has a little bit of a higher average, and this is according to diesel truck stop actual price per gallon. Currently, according to Sonar, we are at $3.94, but it's nice to see that at least we are below the $4 mark. So that's awesome. Then of course I have to show this chart by Sonar, which is the diesel truck stop actual price per gallon. As you can see, it's $3.94. And we can see that we have been on the way down. We've had some moments where it would go up for a minute, but in general, yeah, we're on our way down, which is great. Now, every single month, I also show you guys the places where the diesel is the most expensive and the least expensive. So we're gonna start with the most expensive. See, it's red, which means it's not good. Stop, don't go there. <laughs> um, so the way I do it, and I do this every single month, we have the average price of the pump, and then we have the real price per gallon, which includes the IFTA tax. Okay, so in terms of the price at the pump, we can see that the most expensive is, of course, California at $5.10 per gallon. Then we have Washington, New York, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. But if we include this IFTA tax that we pay when we refuel our truck, we can see that the picture changes a little bit. The highest or the most expensive state is actually Washington, if we include this IFTA tax right here. See, this is the real price per gallon. How is it calculated? You take the price of the pump minus the current IFTA tax rate for the state, you get the real price per gallon. Number two is Oregon, three is California, four is New York, and finally, Pennsylvania. Then we have this beautiful chart, which is green, which means go. These are the states with the lowest diesel prices. In terms of price at the pump, Texas, of course, wins. I love Texas. Texas is at $3.33 per gallon on average. Then we have Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Missouri. But then, of course, if we consider the IFTA tax, the situation changes very, very slightly. It's just these two last uh, states, Missouri and Mississippi, that switch places. Okay, now I have to show my favorite chart, the outbound tender volumes versus outbound tender rejections. I show this every single week on Fridays, but this time we're just comparing what happened compared to this time in May, right? So again, as a reminder, for those of you who are new, the blue line shows us outbound tender volumes. How much freight is there in the market, right? How much demand is there for trucks? The white line shows us outbound tender rejections. How much of this freight is getting rejected by contract carriers and therefore ending up on the spot market? Usually there is a correlation. The higher the tender rejection rates, the more loads get rejected, 
the higher the volume on the spot market. And of course, as volume increases, it starts soaking up the existing capacity of trucks, and therefore, often, the rates start increasing as well. So what we can see, this is from May 18th all the way to, well, it's actually June 18th, not June 19th. We can see that in terms of volume, we are up 3.3% month over month, which is good. Now, in terms of tender rejections, we're actually up 16.1%, which is awesome. Does this mean that we're going to get amazing rates on the load board? Not quite yet. We're not there yet. The tender rejections are only at 3.23% as of today, which means that only 3.23% of these uh, loads of the volume is actually ending up possibly on the spot market. That is a very, very low number. So we can't expect the rates to be anything crazy high at the moment, but at least we are moving in the right direction. Then we have this chart. Now this chart shows us the spot volumes. Something you have to know is that this data is based off of dry van operations, right? So the blue line shows us the national truck load index. This is including fuel surcharge. The white line shows us the national truckload index for line haul only, not including fuel surcharge, right? So one is the spot rate with fuel surcharge. The white line is the spot rate without fuel surcharge. Both of them over the past month have increased. The national truckload index, just the spot market rate with fuel surcharge, increased by 3.7% since last month, this time last month. As for the national truck load index or the spot rate, not including fuel surcharge, it increased by 6.5% since last month. For those of you who are interested currently, the truck load index, the spot rate is at 223. This is the average. Whereas without fuel surcharge, it's at 163 per mile. So I can't say there's anything huge happening. It's not great. It's very far from great. These rates are horrible, but we are, again, we're moving in the right direction, which personally I like to celebrate. All right, let's take a look at what is going on in the spot market. And we're going to be looking at all equipment types together, right? This is data for all equipment types. For those of you who are new to this video, this bar graph, this is us right now. This chart shows us volumes on the spot market, not all volumes, just on the spot market. So this is us right now. The green line is 2021. The orange one is 2022. The black dotted line is the five year average. So what we can see is spot volumes, not last week, but the week before they did increase from the week prior to that. But one thing I want everyone to pay attention to, because this is something that I like to do. I like to look at patterns and see if we're following that same pattern. The five year average, as you can see, we are trending below in terms of spot volumes. We're trending below the five year average as of right now. However, what we can also see is that we're following the five year pattern. We had a decrease right here an increase right here, a small increase right here. So what we can see, and we're going up, see it's going up as of the five year average and it went up here. So if the pattern is to be believed, if we do not stray away from this five-year pattern, if nothing crazy happens, then we can expect that the volumes will increase. They will plateau. What happened? They will plateau. <laughs> then they will go down, increase slightly, and kind of slowly decline with some peaks and valleys over the course of the year. So the good news is that we are following the pattern. We can try to theoretically predict what's going to happen next. Let's take a look at the total spot rates for all equipment types. Works in the same way. The blue chart, the blue graph, this is us right now. These are previous years and the dotted line is the prior five year trend. So what we can see for the most of the year, as hard as it is to believe, we're actually trending above average, above the five year trend when it comes to spot rates. 
And of course, this is including all equipment types. It might be due to the flatbed because flatbeds are trending way above the five year average, which unfortunately will be changing pretty soon because flatbeds are seasonal and volumes are going down, rates are going down, but that's a different story. But yeah, currently for all loads trending above the five year average, most likely due to flatbed spot rates. What we can see also, and this is the most important thing in my opinion, is we are following that five year pattern. So what we can expect is we can expect that rates will slightly go down, then they will go up for flatbeds. They should peak around August from what I see, and then they will kind of go down and level out for the rest of the year until the end of the year when they usually go up and spot rates do go up every single year at the end of the year. Why? Because the tender rejection starts climbing. This is because a lot of carriers stop working at the end of the year, holidays, Christmas, New Year's, all of that stuff is happening. So many carriers are not working. So there is a lack of capacity compared to loads. So rates start increasing. Now I'm going to show you a video that I made by doing screenshots. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to show you how the market changes and how alive it is on a daily basis. I release every single Friday weekly market updates and forecasts. And one of the things I show is where to go if you have a certain equipment type. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that same map for all equipment types, and it's going to be from May 18th until June 17th. So you can see how the market changes. Now, before we get into this video, a little reminder, the height of an area shows us the volume, right? The higher it is, the more volume is coming out of that market. The color shows us tender rejections. If it is extremely dark blue, it means that the tender rejections are really high. So that means a lot of those loads are ending up on the spot market, therefore increasing spot market rates. Now, as you saw from this video, we can see that the plain states, not much is happening there. But from May 18th all the way to June 17th, we can see that the West Coast, especially the Southwest and Texas started coming alive. Now, obviously, this is probably because of the limited but still very much alive produce season. The only hope we have right now is that it only gets better from here, that produce volumes continue increasing, soak up that capacity, leaving room for rates to increase for other equipment types. But let me tell you, California for reefers, as much as I don't like going to California, that is a good market to be in if you're taking outbound loads, because those rates are extremely decent compared or relative to the rest of the market. Finally, the last thing I want to show you is how the market looked from 2019 to 2023, how it changed. This is the same market map we just looked at, but let's take a look at how it changed. This is June 18th, 2023. Something I want you to look at. The colors are great, but if you look right here, here is the outbound tender rejection index. It goes from zero, which means that no rejections, to 12.09. Let's take a look at 2022. Well, it looks a little bit less colorful, but those tender rejections went from 0.52 to 25.15, meaning 25% of the loads were getting rejected. That's 2022. Let's take a look at 2021. These went from 153 to 44.04. 44, half of the loads were getting rejected. That's why the rates were so insane. And if you look, you can see that pretty much everywhere the rates were insane, maybe with the exception of New Mexico, Montana, parts of Oregon. But look at the South and the East and the Northeast, even the Midwest, California. Yeah, that was a good time to be in the trucking industry. Let's take a look at 2020. In 2020, it was more or less closer to where we are right now. Right now we go up to 12% in rejection rates. In 2020, it was from 2.51 to 19.22%, right? 
And then we have 2019. And at that time, we were going from 0 0.88 all the way to 25.74. Currently, just as a reminder, the darkest blue markets go up to 12% rejection rate. So we still have a long way to climb. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I really don't have anything else to add. We're moving in the right direction ever so slightly. So it's not really enough to actually feel a significant change yet in the freight market, but at least we're moving towards that goal. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I don't know. I personally try to celebrate even the smallest movements in the right direction, and I encourage everyone to do the same. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful, insightful. I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you all in the next video.